Hello, it is I, LEGO Sonic Fan 17, and I'm back with another Space Flight Simulator video. And in today's video, I will be doing something very funny. I will launch a Saturn V to the planet Saturn because it's funny. And just because um, I'm funny like that, uh, I'd subscribe, like the video, comment because it, it makes me feel like I'm important. And uh, give me money, please. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, so, in today's video, as I mentioned before, we're launching a Saturn V to Saturn, but not to Saturn, because we can't just land this thing on Saturn, because Saturn doesn't have a surface. Uh, we will send this Saturn V to one of Saturn's moons, uh, Titan, because Titan is, let's be honest, Titan's a super cool moon. It's probably like the most famous moon of Saturn. Like, you ask anybody, hey, what are, um, name me one of Saturn's moons. They will most likely, 95% of the time, um, say Titan. I don't actually know the statistics. Maybe it's more or less. I don't know. So, yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, not a lot of people, like, know much about space. Because I guess a lot of people don't care that much. So... Yeah, that's sad. Now we are, um, sending our probe to Titan. Uh, luckily, I was in a transfer window, which was really lucky, and I didn't have to go, like, halfway around the planet. It was, like, right there, like, uh, sixth of a way around the planet. I don't know if that made sense. But we're now burning to Saturn. Uh, don't worry, we're not going to run out of fuel. This, th this rocket has way more fuel than it needs. It could go to Neptune. It could probably go to Sedna on this planet pack. So, yeah, there's nothing to worry about. Um... Yeah, I zoomed out there because I noticed I was going to pass really close to that uh, piece of debris right there. But luckily, I did not collide into it. But I was at least hoping to see it, you know, because sometimes you can see pieces of uh, debris whenever you're passing close to them, like in the game, because in, in this sandbox, I have way too much debris. I've never cleared debris once in the sandbox, except for one moment later on, which... Um, I'm not going to explain why I cleared debris. You're just going to have to keep watching to find out. Right there, I am just uh, setting up my trajectory so I can both encounter Jupiter and Saturn. Because if I try to like not encounter Jupiter, it will completely waste most of my fuel and it would be bad. Right there, I kind of came back in and crashed with the stage. That's why I decided to move it out of the way. And me moving it out of the way actually resulted in the stage, uh, something happening to the stage, which again, I will not be saying what happened to the stage, even though you can probably already guess, you know, to keep your retention. And stuff like that. So we are now um, beginning our time warp away from Earth. And yeah, it will take a couple of years to reach Saturn because we're not going directly. Because one, if we're going directly, we will be going in way too fast. Even if we try a gravity assist from Titan to enter orbit, we will not enter orbit and we would just be thrown farther into space. Uh, and second, because uh, during on my first attempt, I tried going straight to Titan and it didn't work and I burned up in the atmosphere. And um, you're never going to see that um, video because it was, um, I'm not going to show. Actually, no, I'm going to show a clip right now. Actually, no, I won't, because something really cool is about to happen. Uh, you already know what's going to happen, so I'm not going to um, talk about it. But it's super cool. Whenever I detach the stage, I did not know this was going to happen. Uh, so I guess you could say that um, I knew that uh, the stage was going to crash into Jupiter all along. So, uh, yeah, um, I totally knew that whenever I... Um, I detached the stage, it was going to crash into Jupiter. The burn I did to move the stage away, I calculated the burn beforehand so I could um, cause the stage to crash into Jupiter so it didn't stay in space orbiting the sun forever. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say that I'm good at the game and I planned the stage crashing into Jupiter from the start. So now we're approaching Saturn rapidly. Actually, no, not as rapidly as we would be approaching it if we would, if it would, um, you know, be a direct transfer to Saturn because, you know, that would, um, that that would, uh, that would just cause us to make a flyby. Uh, so, um, 
Yeah, that was my original plan, actually. My original plan was to get a direct transfer to Saturn and try to enter orbit like that, but it didn't work. My, like, one of the uh, concepts I had for this mission was I, I could just take the S4B, like, I could just take the S4B stage and, like, take it all the way to Saturn and circularize with the S4B and then go to Titan from there. But I didn't want to leave junk around Saturn and that would have been unrealistic, so... I didn't do that. Making our first and only um, flyby of Saturn. There it is, not Saturn, Titan. There's the saving thing because I'm not good enough at this game to do it without any saves. Now from here, w I am um, you know, getting another Titan encounter because as I said before, uh, we already did one Titan flyby and our next quote unquote flyby will actually be an entry into Titan's atmosphere. So that's cool. Um, yeah, all I've, all I've talked about in this mission was just that, kind of what's going on with the mission. I kind of dabbed a little bit on the, like, misinformation and stuff like that and how people, like, don't really know much about space. But, like, that's all. Like, I, I kind of want to talk about other stuff now, so, um, yeah, uh, who's excited for uh, the Sonic movie? I know there's only like five people in the comments who actually are, let's be honest. A lot of the people who subscribe for Sonic are have now long unsubscribed from my channel because I've moved to SFS and that's something that like a lot of people who like Sonic are not interested in, like space, so yeah. Um, I'm, I'm really excited for the Sonic movies, honestly, because they're like super cool. Shadow looks awesome. Like, the setting in Tokyo, where like, if you don't know, Sonic was originally like... It, it was originally like released in Tokyo, so that's cool. Uh, Shadow on the bike looks awesome. I didn't, I know I didn't do a trailer reaction, but that's because Twitter ruined the trailer for me. That's why I didn't do a reaction for it. We've now deployed the parachute, by the way. Uh, in a second, we're about to deploy the... Uh, there we go. It, hey, it was actually like in a second or two. Um, we deployed the fairing as well as the heat shield. I added some separatrons on the heat shield, so I was able to deploy the heat shield like while the parachute was halfway deployed because I didn't want to wait until the parachute was fully deployed to deploy the heat shield because, you know, it, I would have been so close to the ground that, um, you know... It, it, it wouldn't have been as awesome. And plus, the Separatrons made it look cool, didn't it? And the heat shield almost hit us on the way down, but it's fine. Um, we were fine in the end. And touching down on Titan in 3, 2, 1, 0, contact. Yay, we have landed on the surface of Titan. You can see all the sand hills now. Beginning our Sunday drive on Titan. Uh-oh, there's a bit of lag. Every time I landed the rover, like... There. there there was lag that's why i kept stopping because i it wasn't me stopping because whenever you stop like a wheeled vehicle in sfs it doesn't stop automatically like that you know it it kind of like the momentum kind of slowly dies so yeah i kind of cleared debris there to see if it fixed it but it did not unfortunately so yeah this is sad um so yeah, I'm now just jumping from sand dune to sand dune because it's something really cool to do. And yeah, the lag was annoying, but I easily got... Oh! <laughs> oh no, I flipped over! No, the mission's over! Okay, no, it's not. Uh, I, you know, went back to a previous quick save. Um, no, I actually just reverted 30 seconds and... Uh, ooh, look at that! NASA would not do that stuff with their rovers. That makes me automatically 100% cooler than NASA. <laughs> um so yeah and i think it's on yep another backflip and this is the final one and with that epic front flip done that concludes the end of the video um i really hope you guys liked this video it was fun to make it was heavily inspired by nasa's dragonfly mission oh look there's saturn because i realized that i didn't actually show the planet at all while i was in space so yeah there you go um that's what saturn looks like uh, I might put the planet back in the description as well as a blueprint. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, and um, I will stop talking now because the uh, end screen is almost over. Bye!